Hey guys, this is Joe Tech from Joe Tech Tips. We're on Facebook and Twitter and Instagram. Today we're going to be going over a cool little utility called NetStat. This pretty much shows you connections to the outside world and internal uh, networks to your local machine. But sometimes you're not aware of what's going on. I mean, your computer's on the network, you're doing your thing. You have no idea what con connections are going from your PC to the internet. The application NetStat, which is a command line application, is NetStat. We're going to do a quick search of all the commands that are here. We're only going to go over three of them, what we're going to be using today. We're using dash A, display all, displays all connections and listening ports. N, displays addresses and port numbers in numerical form. And dash O, displays in the owning process ID associated with each connection. So we're going to do that right now. So it's net stat dash a n o a n o Joe, come on, and we're going to output this to a ports.txt file, and I have the shortcut here to go directly to it, so we can speed up the process here. And we're going to output that to that. So that's what this is. Okay. So this is all the listening devices that are on my on the network at the moment. Okay. So we have, so what we could do is we go into open up task manager. We'll take a peek here. Okay. And we'll go to details. And this P, all these PIDs here will match all the PIDs here. Okay. So if you look at 4208, and that's that process there. It's a network service, WMI provider host. Okay. So now we go down to another one. Let's look at 11,284. 11,284. NVIDIA share So that's the NVIDIA share. That's the IP address of NVIDIA. So this one's established That makes sense Because we're recording using NVIDIA right now. All right, so anything else on external IPs we ha we do not I pretty much took care of most of this now if I opened up a web browser For argument's sake, I move this over to a different screen. So it's out of the way. I'm going to rerun this command I'm going to close this out reopen it and you can see there's a ton more stuff connected. <laughs> all right, so now we have 15. Now, this, we're, I'm just opened up to Google, all right? This is all I did. So let's look up 15,128. There you go, Firefox. <laughs> now look how many there are. 15,128, 15,100. Look at all these connections. There, there, there. There's a ton. I just opened up Google. That's all I did. And these are all the IP address associated that's connecting to wherever it's going. I mean, I could do a search on, on, on this IP address. I can do this. Copy this. Go into a browser. Type it in and see where it goes. So it's Verizon Communications. So why this needs to have Verizon Communications beyond me. Again, it's interesting to know what is connected to your computer. And that's the purpose of this video, is to show you how you could do it. Let's look what this is. 8976. So let's scroll down to 8976. And that's Malwarebytes. So these three connections are my Malwarebytes program. 8976. Would never have known that. And this is the IP address it's actually connecting to. Pretty neat, right? <laughs> so let's look at 4396. 4396 Malwarebytes service. Another one. Another outbound connection. Secure. 443. Let's look at, and that's closed wait. So this is waiting. Let's see. And these are established. All right. So this one's not really doing anything at the moment. It's waiting. Okay. Let's see what else we have. 10,580. 10,005. Search UI. Search and Cortana app. That'll only run when it needs. See, it's shut off. So I'll hit it again. Go into the into the search, search, and now it's running. If I click out of it, it'll stop running. Let's see. Give it a second. Yep, suspended. There you go. Okay. Just want to show you how you could see what connections you have and go through a text document. If you didn't add this portion of it here, it'll go right to the screen. All right, this is just outputting it so you can look at it through a document. 
So guys, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. And if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. Take care and we'll see you next time. Creative Labs, I roar. Plug it in like, like this. The inside of this is really impressive. 100A in the Prius. The AC adapter, one amp charger. And it's big, and it's made out of aluminum. Okay, as you can see, the backup is complete. Like so. Now you can create the rate array. I mean, for the, for the price difference between the two,